Hello bandits, I've just had a little microphone malfunction and it's fallen off my clip. I forgot that my clip is actually broken and I need to fix it. Um, so hopefully it'll stay. I just have to keep quite still. Um, we are today back in, not quite Paris, uh, because we have, this is going to come as a shock, actually made some progress. Uh, so we're in a bar in Ireland in the uh, 90... Is this 96? Classic Broken Sword. Um, so we've saved it. We've just got back into it for the day. And I've spoken to most of these people already, I think. And I've stolen a bar mat. So I'm going to head out and see what we can see. Um, as ever, let me know... Um, if the volume levels are okay or not okay, or if you need them anymore, apologies for my mic slippage. I really need to get a new one, but money! Um, so thank you for the folks who are <coughs> supporting the stream uh, through subscriptions, because stuff like that is going to go towards fixing things like this, uh, which is really nice. And if you didn't know, if you've got Amazon Prime, you can actually sub for free using your Amazon Prime, and we'll get a little bit of uh, of funds from that. So that's lovely, isn't it? Um, I've spoken to him already, and I'm going to go up here. Now, I've got a feeling the, the goat is involved somewhere here. I'm not 100% sure, but I've got a feeling it's around here somewhere. I could be wrong. I could be absolutely wrong. Okay, let's speak to this man. That's when we find out if the volume's okay. Hi, do you speak English? Well, no. Uh, what if I was to say no? An implication of comedy. Hey, Maverick. Oh, thank you very much. It's a beautiful game. We've got. Um, we haven't got far, but for this channel, we've got fairly far because we just finished playing Discworld, and it took, I think, eight episodes in the end, uh, and it took quite a while. Also, I just missed everything that that guy said. Uh, Sneaky needs to be a little louder. Thank you for letting me know. I shall bump it up a little bit, and hopefully that helps. Right, the things we can ask him are all up at the top here. Uh, let's just go through it. Have you any use for this towel? Whatever gave you that idea? Oh dear, oh dear me, no. That towel that I just asked him about, the one up here that actually looks like a Rizzler packet, um, that's a random bar mat that I've just stolen. Does this false nose mean anything to you? You're a circus clown. No, but I got this from someone who disguised himself as a Oh, client. Discworld is amazing. I've got Discworld, I've got Discworld 2, and I've got Discworld Noir. Um, so after I finish Broken Sword, I've also got Broken Sword 2, but finished Discworld, moved on to Broken Sword, and I'm thinking probably go back to Discworld Noir or Discworld 2 after completing this one. Um, obviously, that's not going to be tonight. We're only on stream uh, episode number three. Uh but the thing that I like about this, as opposed to the Discworld games, is on this, everything does make a bit more logical sense. So if I speak to everybody about everything, it should come out. Um, Noir was brilliant. Noir's my favourite story of the Discworld games. Um, and Discworld 1 are my favourite visuals. Discworld 2 I still love dearly. Discworld 2 was my first entry. Um, hello, Pragas, how you doing? I hope you're well. Um... Discworld 2 was my very first glimpse of the Discworld, and I became obsessed with it, and I, I recognize the man adore everything Terry Pratchett ever did. No, but I wouldn't trust him. Uh, His eyes are too close together. But yeah, Noir was... Uh, sorry, yours, Discworld 2 he? was my very first oh, no. entry in it. there. Um, in my fact, throat's a lot better this week, Braggers. I'm, I'm, I'm a killer. I knew it! Piggy eyes. I was going to say I'm not coughing as much, but then I coughed immediately. Um... Business card. Do you recognize asking the name on this card? Uh, so yeah, I am feeling much I better than be I was last week, and it's a lovely bank holiday weekend Thomas here Merlin. in the UK. Brewer so we're having a barbecue tomorrow. I'm very excited. Is that your name, Tommy Merlin? No, but what a great stage name. Tommy it Merlin. With my high school hypnosis act had lacked style. I think. Uh, I think in the USA it's a three-day week. Seconds, uh, sorry, three-day weekend as well. This weekend. Is a nice coincidence. Tommy Merlin. 
hypnotist. Yeah, I'm very much Are looking. You all right? Very much looking I'm forward fine. to a barbecue. I just remembered something. We need a modern Discworld game, Maverick. I am a hundred percent in agreement. It's something that I have banged on about to Rihanna Pratchett far too much. Even to just bring the old ones back, but apparently the whole licensing thing, because all the studios have been bought out by somebody else and then rights have transferred, so nobody knows where the rights are. I've been telling her to just do it and find out who complains, which I think is a brilliant plan, but what legally, maybe not. Book? Seems ordinary enough to me. Okay, that I think is all I'm getting out of him. So what you can't see behind me, I never know which way to turn. Let's turn this way and let's be very careful because the microphone will just drop off behind you'll, you won't be able to see there is some options down here that I can click on so I've got a castle and I've got a book of some kind so I'm gonna ask him about the book first good book a book it's a passport to a world of fantasy and imagination oh the book that he's holding yeah, what's the time? create a shelving for beginners <laughs> the 1978 edition hmm absolutely loving the hot weather sneaky it is beautiful it is glorious i love everything about it i am pale as a ghost however i love the hot weather athena my wife less so with the hot weather athena loves uh kind of an autumn rainy outside book snuggle kind of weather which is still very good we have to admit but um, what's so cool about home yeah? The home kids home. love the hot weather as well. We've had uh, the micro bandits have been begging for a pool, uh, but they'll use it for five minutes and then skip out. Oh, the glorious twenty fifth of May! Absolutely amazing, Maverick. Yeah, it's a uh, weirdly towel day and uh, kind of lavender day, or glorious twenty fifth as we call it. Yeah, water fights. So many water fights. Uh, you'll see, if you follow that, Pixel Bandits on TikTok, we don't always post about Haven't gaming you stuff, you will see that I've posted well, up recently no, about barbecued watermelon. Just trust and me and just give it a go. Jesus putting up any shelves. Okay, let's ask him about the what castle. Can you tell me about the let's castle? actually get to the game. Much, I'm sorry <laughs> to say, <laughs> most of its history is right. long forgotten. True. Ah, but if these old stones could only speak, what stories they'd tell. Stories to make your Hopefully you can hear all okay. I think it's about the same cold. volume as I am. You know, this castle is said to be over 600 years old. Okay. Who Let's built the castle? Ask him about the castle Mad again. Felin, the first lord of Loch Marn. Well, I say lord, but actually he was little more than a village chieftain. He built his castle from the remains of the Templar Preceptory. Oh, we can ask him about the Templars as well now. Um, but yeah, we will be back to Discworld. Discworld is one of my favourite kind of things in the world ever. The only thing that I don't like is the watch TV adaption. I do not have time for it. The other TV adaptions I quite like. The cartoons I love. The games I love. The books. Up until about snuff-ish I love. And then I... I've read a couple, but I try not to really do any more because they're not my favourite. <laughs> um, but I adore Pratchett. I love it. Do you mind if I climb up your haystack to get into the castle? What? You'd break your stupid neck for sure. Do you think I'd stand by and see your brains dashed out? I'd be very careful, and I promise not to sue. You won't get the chance. Not while I'm here to stop you. Right, so I need to get rid of him. I need to get him... Out and, out and about somehow uh, just so that he's not there and I can climb up. Apparently, I want to climb up some hay Where bales. Where is the site of the Templar Preceptory? Right here a movie. on Temple Hill. Feeling built right on I wouldn't top hate of the it. old wall. If you have it a look a, a little bit down the Facebook page, Mav, I know you channel. said you came from there. I bought, I, well, I haven't, I bought the hat years ago, but I found it again. I've been wearing it again recently. And unfortunately, I was I was aiming for dashing Indiana Jones type, but I am actually rinse wind. If you have a look, I reckon, go and have a look. Let me know because I reckon, spot on for rinse wind. If they ever do a a live action adaptation. Did Pegram discover the chapel? I don't know. His workers were sworn to secrecy. 
Okay, that's all I can ask him I about. I have to go now. So, he's got a book. Book about shelves that he's reading there. Oh, hey, Aloy, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Pushing with all my strength got me nowhere. They didn't budge. I really need to start working out. Okay, they didn't budge at all. Is that is it different? Is that a different the gates lot? were made of solid age no, black and that's wood. just all one entity there. Uh, right, I can't do anything with that. I, if I just try here, we'll see what happens. Get away, you silly noodle! Can't you see the load's unstable? You silly noodle! Uh, right, okay, yeah, I suppose the load's unstable. Uh, so I need... Maybe look at him. I'll have a look and the see. The farmer's craggy face was set in a mask of aesthetic appearance. 85! His feet were set in a pair For those of... those in the chat, we kind of... I mean, Pixel Bandits didn't start off, but it really grew um, through Elite Dangerous. And... Um, uh, I I set up and led the PBSF clan for some years, um, and then the the reviews and streaming and everything side of Pixel Bandits really took over. Um, but what one of the things that you can do uh, in the game is you can, if you're part of a group of uh, people, you can make a concerted effort and you can take over a star system and get your people kind of in charge of it you can't really muck about with things too much <clears throat> you know there's no flips and, and levers to to tumble but obviously your name goes up against it and when i was leading i think and this was a few years ago now before i handed over to our wonderful wonderful fcld team who are leading it now um i think we were on like 20 star systems or something like that um and so that's what uh Aloysius black is just mentioned up there we've now taken control of system number 85 that is a lot of star systems to be present in oh <coughs> neon nans neon nans is uh, i i do genuinely enjoy that group i met uh neon when uh we were both living how do i get out of here oh up that way um we we're both living in worcester uh, I no longer live in Worcester, unfortunately, because I, I do genuinely love Worcester to absolute bits. Um, but it's a, it's a great group just full of nerd stuff, and I am here for nerd stuff. Unashamedly nerdy. Right, I wonder if I, if I talk to this guy now, if I'll have something about the guy that's... I'm going to say guarding. He's not hey, really, but McGuire. guarding the... What do you want to know? No, I've got no other options for things to ask him. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Um, have I tried... I haven't go, tried going left down the street. I've gone into the bar, but I haven't gone down to the left. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's an absolutely wonderful... It's a wonderful group. I'm, I'm here, really, for anybody who is... Just proud of the things that they love. Uh, oh, yeah, just shrug, George. Obviously, just shrug. <coughs> uh, oh, what's this? Is that a fuse box? Might be a fuse box. Are you allowed to explore things around you? I tugged at the plastic cover, but it didn't um, move. You can kind of explore things. Um... So I can look at the oh if I look here see the drain was covered with an iron grating through which I could hear the rush and surge okay, of Okay so running that's water. I reckon the grates by his feet are kind of cellar grates for a pub and that then is the drain so I am I'm playing on PS1 literally are you going to yeah thank you that took a while so I'm playing on PS1 uh, like directly from an actual old school one of the mini versions but PS1 console so we've got two things. We've got the uh, the square button, which is the version is essentially a left mouse click. We've got the circle button, which is essentially a right mouse click. And then we've got triangle and X, and they go up to the. If I press triangle, 
it pops up to the top and if I press X it goes down to the bottom um, so the r left mouse click or the square button is kind of the do button so you walk you talk you use um, and then the right mouse click or the circle button is look so I'm gonna I've looked at that now I'm gonna try using it it'll try and pull it up I think let me make myself smaller nobody needs me to be that size <clears throat> I took hold of the grating and pulled hard but it didn't move so the one thing that I do still have is my manhole removal uh, tool so we'll try and give that a use maybe I tried to use the keys to lever up the grating but that wasn't going to happen okay I, I'm with you on this one Mav I very much seem to remember that the manhole cover was an thing I'm terribly sorry, I've just spoken in solution design speak. The last place that I was working at, the solution design team, like the techie, techie, techie folks of the tech company. Um, I, see, I'm a writer, I know that an shouldn't be used there, but we used an for emphasis. Praggers, if you say that doesn't work to me one more time, I'm going to go completely librarian poo. <coughs> Right, Who, who's this fine fellow? Now, to me, that looks, up there in the middle, like a thin version of Hank from King of the Hill. My name's George. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. I'll tell you what. Okay, 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 we can ask him about beer. Can I get you another drink? Oh... No, thank you. I shouldn't be drinking at all. Why shouldn't you be drinking? I'm on tablets and my nerves. Not okay. A pint and I'll pass out. So I might. <clears throat> I should be. One second. Oh no, I can't bend that. That's my hello, hello signed photos. Which is. I love hello, hello as well. Right, I need to be making notes. Otherwise, we're going to get nowhere. So, a notepad comes in very handy with this game. So, <coughs> climb up hay bales. That's what I'm going to need to do. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to need to get rid of uh, farmer guy. And then the guy in the pub... Can't drink on tablets for his nerves. That might be very handy to know. Uh, right, let's ask him just what about, the tell me about the castle. <laughs> Absolutely no, sneaky, I'm with you. Get him drunk. Ruined. Get a couple of drinks How down old? him. I really couldn't tell you. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes, when I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. We didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? No. Christ, that's dark. Christ, that's absolutely dark. Uh, George Stobart movie adaptation fan cast. I assume by that you mean who would I put as George Stobart? In a movie adaptation. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a think about See that you one. See later. <laughs> Fairly tall, I reckon. Hi there, old timer. What? Oh, Nasty I don't know. Cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing Warmer. as a cold which isn't nasty? <laughs> uh, <put the> See, <laughs> so that's the kind of clue that I like. Morning. Or take Father his tablet, I, sneaky. Why were we born? Sneaky, yes. Not? What did he say? He said it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Okay, okay. Pious prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. <laughs> You're not a policeman, are you? 
Excuse me? Chris Pratt. I just Please. I don't like Chris Pratt just no. in general. I On principle, I like are. films less if he's in them. But I can see I can see the direction you're going in. Can I buy you a beer? I'd like. Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the, the guy, beer, the guy who played Reacher in the it? TV series, but he'd need to be a bit thinner. Right, I'm going to ask this guy about the castle. Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Lochbarn Castle is haunted. Bum, bum, bum. That's what the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep asking him about the castle. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. That's all I can ask about the castle. Ask him about the ghost. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own eyes. Okay, go can on. Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee, stunted beast. Long beak. Straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Loch Barn? That'll be the day. A goat. It's definitely a goat. No, that was a ghost, to be sure. Okay, and again. Do you have to be handsome? Because I like the guy from The Office. Mackenzie Crook. Okay. Yeah, if you haven't, by the way, if you like Mackenzie Crook and you haven't already watched it, it's on BBC iPlayer. The Detectorist is a wonderful, wonderful TV show. It's got Mackenzie Crook and Toby Jones starring in it. And it is just lovely. Chris Pine. Mav, I like that. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I like Chris Pine. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, Maguire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Loch Marn. Oh. See, this is quite good because you just have to talk to people, generally speaking, and you'll get somewhere. So I am going to... Could you use this towel? I'm going to... I could, but it wouldn't be much use for anything else. Ask him about all of the stuff up what here just to make sure that we've ticked all of our boxes. I, I like Chris Pine, Mav, yes. No, I'm not. I want to know if you've seen someone wearing a nose like this. No, I haven't. Also, Mackenzie Crook. Do you recognize the man fine in actor. photograph? Is that supposed to be you? Broken Sword 3? No, yeah, I much prefer face. the cartoon, and I'm really, really, I'm really glad they went back to the glasses. cartoon for the later games. Take a look at this ID card. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, yes. Little plastic picture. I don't suppose it means anything to you, does it? No. Uh, matchbook, maybe. What does this matchbook mean to you? Nothing. Go away and stop bothering me. This is a girl from Amelia's Nico. Um, who did I have in my head as Nico? I'll see you later. The... I can't remember her name, forgive me, but the girl who did uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I think that's who I had in my head as, as Nico. Right. If I talk to him now, can I... Because I'm going around in circles a little bit now, which I don't like with this game. Excuse me? Uh, yes, sir? No, there's nothing, there's nothing else I, I don't want him. anything. Or just give me a shout when you do. As a as an ex barman, the anger that I would feel if somebody came into the bar and said, "Excuse me," and I went over to them, and then he went, "I don't need anything," and just walked off. Ah, oh, I would be livid. Good morning, Rune Boreda, as we say here in South Wales. Boreda, I hope you're doing well. I hope it's a lovely sunny day for you. It has been roasty boiling over here in South Wales. I hope we're all doing very well. And again, apologies 
my microphone is it's a bit broken and I need to get a new one at some point. Uh, which I did mention earlier, if you have got an Amazon Prime subscription that you're not using, you can, on, on Twitch, you can use it to subscribe and it doesn't cost you a penny, but it means that we get a little bit of funding for things that are going on in here, uh, which is lovely. So if you do have Amazon Prime, make use of it. And I hope you are all doing well. I tugged at the trap door. Right, that one was, was locked. locked from the inside. How... How, how, how do I get? Sunny, but eight degrees. Oh, no. I might do sunny in the morning. It might it might warm up a little bit. We, are, we have been hitting, in South Wales, mind you, between 20 and 30 degrees. Uh, and tomorrow is set to be a scorcher, apparently. If it does rain, blame us. We've booked in a barbecue. <coughs> the original... Good. Oh, um, I was trying to figure out what what that initialism was then for far too long. Um, oh, it must have released around ten years ago ish. Right, let's talk to him again. Hi. See if there's anything else that again. we can. Uh, so I see. What now? Would you like to shake my hand? What is this? I don't do that male bond and stuff. Right, there's nothing. I've already spoken to him about I have everything to go else. Now. I can't get in that way. There's... Ooh, what was that? Oh, was that just... Right. I apologize because because we are playing direct from a PS1 loading screens and kind of time between conversation lines can be a little bit longer sometimes. Okay, let's How would you get a farmer off some hay bales? That's the question we're asking ourselves today. How would you get a farmer off hay bales? Okay, can I pick up? Oh, oh, what I could do is I could try and use the phone to call Nico. If in doubt, call Nico. Because she'll generally give us a bit of a clue as to what to do next. <coughs> Shudder to think of this bar's phone bill. Hello, couleur. J'écoute. Nico? Who is this? It's me, George. Oh, hello, George. Where are you? I'm in Ireland. Ireland? What are you doing there? Bit of a shock. It's a long story. Any signs of our friend the clown? You're kidding. You probably never even heard of Lochmarn. Didn't even ask. We just picked up the phone and used it. A little bit, little bit rude. Just, just saying, just saying, a little bit rude. That cut off incredibly suddenly. George. Can I do anything with that? Yeah, I doubt he's going to let me behind the bar. Get out. What was I... There was a pickup. What are these? What are these things? Let's have a look here. <laughs> I was about to reach for the pump. Oh, those are the beer, beer pumps. 
A rash move like that in a strange country with strange customs could be my last. Okay, I'm going to have a look at this guy. The young red-haired guy was plainly nervous about something. Perhaps he felt threatened by the presence of a handsome dude like me. I mean, maybe. It's doubtful, though, isn't it? Hey! Hello there again, mister! See if there's anything more I can ask these guys about. Oh, no, there's not. There is not. <coughs> Let's ask him about these bits here. What do you think of this towel? No, there's a fine piece of cloth, if ever I did see one. Oh, uh, yeah, one of those, Sneaky, ah, one of those. I haven't got a clue, to be honest. Of the Vatican itself. I found it on the bar under your elbow. I thought it looked familiar. Okay, nothing about the beer map. What does this false nose mean to you? Ah, uh, no, you're a clown. No, not me. Ah, you're a good one, aren't you? Did you hear that, Michael? I hate clowns. <laughs> Listen to this fella. I hate clowns, says he. Isn't he just the funniest man you ever did see, Michael? He's not a clown, Doyle. No. He's not even remotely no. funny. Where the <laughs> hell am I going? Uh, see if you they've seen the, man in this the guy in the photo. It's a handsome mug on that fella, to be sure. Is he a film star? Don't be fooled. This is the face of a psychopathic killer. Is it, though? No. Well, there's one in the eye for me and my men. No, I don't think I'm getting anything out of this guy, but I, would ju I just want to, again, make sure I'm checking all the boxes. Uh, mm, well, no. No. Uh, Do you recognize this matchbook? No. Nice and easy. May I shake your hand? No, you can't. Well, how come? Because I'll spill <laughs> me beer if you do. I do Bye love the now. humor of these games. Pester the nervous guy. That's a thought, Mav. Let's go do that. <coughs> I'm trying to see just under his arm, like if he, if those Hello. are his tablets there. Oh, maybe a shock. Shake my hand. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn it, you're right. I can't seem to fool Oh, it's anyone. warm in here. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. Again, nice, succinct answer. We like that. Ever seen this towel before? Doesn't it belong on the bar? Very observant, Fitzgerald. What does this red nose suggest to you? Blood. Why is that? I used to bleed a lot when I was a kid. Every time there was a playground scrap, I'd end up with a bloody nose. I wouldn't have minded, but I wasn't even involved in the scraps. Okay, yeah. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Uh, no. <sighs> At least I don't think so. Look closely. He has a scar on his face. No, I'm sure I don't know him. No, again, we're not Check getting anything out, out of him. Yeah, it's yours, is it? Not exactly. Do you recognize the name? I need to get out. Thomas Merlin. Behind the bar. No, never heard of him. Somehow get out behind the bar. See you later. No. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? There's nothing up there that we can look at. Posters, yeah, I was just going over no. going over these bits, but there's nothing nothing there. I'll talk to this guy. <coughs> and then I think I've spoken to everybody in the bar. Hello there. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Hey, O'Brien, uh, can I help you? Oh, okay, I can ask him about the castle. Go down to the castle and ask what him. What can you tell me about the castle, no. Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Most of the existing building was added much later, of course. Are the ruins open to the public? Oh, no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. 
Okay. Uh, oh, there's a little triangle thing. Is it an archer? Can you tell me about the tripod. tripod which was found at the castle? Now there's a bone of contention and controversy. Maybe getting somewhere here. It was here. dug up by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? <coughs> Professor, <coughs> the same man who dug up the gem. Apologies, it took a while to mute there. Okay, I've got three different options. I'm going to keep asking him about the castle. castle. Well, those wards were built specifically to stop people getting in, Mr. Stobart. But I dare say you'll find a way if you've the will. His voice reminds me quite a lot of... Oh, I can't remember what he's been in other than one episode of Jonathan Creek. Do you know where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. A sore point with our esteemed okay. host, I might add. Okay, I can keep asking him. Do you know where Pegram has gone? No, I'm they're sorry, set responses. They don't... Um, the only the, the only time they'll change is if you speak to somebody about something and then that? it might unlock something for somebody else, but the order doesn't matter that much. A secret assignation. Whatever the reason, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to normal. Right, so there's a fuss about a gem. Let's ask about the gem. What can you tell me about the gem which Pegram found? Now there's a gem which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to covet that stone. What's your interest in the jewel? You're not a reporter, are you? Uh, so I can say yes or no. I'm going to say no. I've got the vibe that he doesn't want reporters. Oh, no. Thank the Lord for that. We answered the right way. Uh, and there's... Why is um, Pegram's departure upset the landlord? Is that his he landlord? Or something? Guest. That's why. More than that. There's the question of an unsettled bill. Intriguing. Oh, He's spoken to the sneezing guy. Maverick, and yes, I've spoken to him a bit, but this might unlock Can new conversations now, landlord? potentially. Mick Leary? He's what you call a... a I know he's got hay fever. The trouble is, his idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. I never worked out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. <laughs> That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in Braille. <laughs> okay, that's all I can ask him about. I'm going to... Goodbye for now. I don't think there's anything more. I will go back to the guy in the corner, as soon as everybody keeps mentioning him. Let's go over and have a, a chatette. Ooh. <coughs> Hello again. I'm not sure there's any more. Oh, sneezy sneeze. He's just sneezing. There we are. There we are. We're in. Oh, I can ask him a couple more questions now, but I'm also going to ask him about this you tissue. You can make use of this tissue. Never use them. Those things are unhygienic. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. Right, let's ask him about the archaeology guy. Do you know Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? No. No, I don't know him. Okay. I've got a few different options I can ask him about. Were you aware that Pegram was conducting an archaeological dig? I don't Actually, pre COVID, I was thinking that, man. Looking at him sneezing and just going everywhere, I was like, we wouldn't. Me. Like, isn't it weird how much the world has changed in that way since COVID? Do you know where I can find Pegram? I told you, I never heard of him. The very fact that we can say since COVID, and everyone's like, yeah, I know exactly the entire thing that you mean. What's that you're making? It's a necklace, me poco. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. Who's his pretty one? When my little lover feels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. It's a type of All bird mine. or something. 
<laughs> Bird is in flappy wings, not as in like old 90s slang for women, by the way. If I was a woman, I wouldn't think much of a wire necklace. It's not made for a woman. I've got my sights on tastier He's a poacher. He's a poacher, that Fresh makes sense. As smooth and tender as a maiden. Born the soft and white as a newborn babe. Steel wire, yep, yeah, it's a garrot. Rabbit. Rabbit, there we are. That's what gets my juices flowing. It's making a snare. <laughs> Is that the last of that? No, I can ask him about the snare again. Ah, so you're making snares to trap rabbits. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? Damn right I do. Isn't it painful? Only if I get <laughs> my fingers caught. I'm talking about the rabbits. Do they feel much pain? You bet. <laughs> Not a fan of that too much. Uh... Cool. I mean, I've asked him everything. You need the wire. Okay. So how can I... I'm going to wait until he sneezes, maybe? Oh, no. I need to back out or he's not going to go through the I'll see you later. Loop. I can hardly bloody see the wire. Okay, you tell him. <laughs> See how he likes it. Right, if I... I'd been taught not to judge people by their appearance or their clothes or the length of their hair. Nobody ever said okay. anything about runny noses. Okay, so he does drop it down here when he's sneezing. There we go. As soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed his piece of wire. So now I have a piece of wire. Do I need another piece of wire? No, it doesn't look like it. Right, what could I use a piece of wire on now? Uh, I suppose I could use it to fish down into the in the grates. Didn't somebody say they dropped something outside the pub? Let's have a look. Let's see if we can use it uh, on the... We'll see if we can use it on the small drain. Right. Wire. We've got very... Very limited options of what we might actually be able to use it. Oh, maybe I could use it on the padlocks. No, he's shrugging a lot. Let's go up here. Or on this box thing, maybe. <coughs> we'll try, we'll just try and use it on everything. I can't 100% remember if you combine things in this one, Sneaky. I haven't combined anything yet. I can say that. Or, after this one, do we go for Monkey Island? I'm not sure. Curse is my favourite Monkey Island still. Right, let's have a look. See if we can pick the... Uh, Pick the lock here, maybe, with the wire. Or is he just going to shrug? I didn't have the first idea how to pick a lock. I mean, it's not that hard. Oh, night, Praggers. Thank you very much. I shall get the stream up uh, tomorrow, probably. Or maybe Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday. Have a good night, though. And thank you, as ever, for popping along.
Right, I've got the wire. We might not have made any progress. I wanted to be Guybrush, didn't we all? Did not we all want to be Guybrush when we were young? I mean, Guybrush Threepwood, he's dashing. He can hold his breath for eight minutes. I mean, what a guy. What a guy. Right, I haven't spoken to this kid in a little while. We might be able to ask him some more stuff. Hey, Maguire. What do you want to know? Yes, we can ask him about the dig. Do you know a man called Pegram? <coughs> can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Okay, well let's, let's delve some more into that, Maguire. No, I can't, because he's not here now. But if I seize him, I'll ask him. Huh? Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? <clears throat> more than Did Solid Snake. <laughs> Jewels and gold and skeletons. You saw that like picture the films. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's ask him about the dig. Do you know anything about <clears throat> Pegram's dig? He wouldn't let me anywhere near it. I offered to help, but he chased me off. I didn't want to see his smelly old hole anyhow. I don't want to see a smelly old hole either. Did anyone from the village work at the dig? Pegram bought some students and bums with him. He reckoned no one in Loch Marne would know what to look for. The only local I think guy we're making some progress, you know. was Sean Fitzgerald. Okay, gem. I heard that Pegram had found a legendary gem. That's right. It's been the talk of Loch Marne all week. You haven't seen the gem, have you? Hell no. I reckon Pegram made off with it. If I was him, I'd go to Amsterdam, chop it up and sell it. He could be living the life of Riley instead of digging holes. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to ask him about the wire as well, just because that's new. What do you new. think this wire could be used for? Stealing cars. There's only one problem. The local policeman? No. <laughs> Nobody in Loch Marne has got a car. Right, okay. <coughs> uh, shake my hand again. No, no he's not way. having it. It's the music, is the music a sign it's something important? I don't know, it doesn't seem to have unlocked anything. I genuinely do don't know, man. It's been like hey, 20 years since I completed Leary's this. Tells. He'll skin you alive. That old windbag doesn't scare me. Anyhow, I'm only borrowing it. You're pretty cool, mister. For an, an old guy. guy. Feeling that in my bones today. See you later, kid. Oh, hey, okay. Mr. Right, let's go back up and talk to the talk to this guy again. There might be Is it that little plinky ding dunk dunk? That that kind of plinky dink. Cause I I have a feeling it means that something somewhere has changed. But God knows where. Hi, it's me again. So I see, what now? Can I ask him anything? I can ask him about the archaeologist now. Have you seen Professor Pegram? No, he's packed up and gone. Do you happen to know where? Back in England, I suppose. Do you think Pegram's disappearance is due to the curse? Look at the facts. He dug up the gem. He disappeared. Bingo! It doesn't take a degree in mathematics to work that one out, does it? You don't have to be a smart guy. Maybe the pub seller. A nervous guy. Pegram <laughs> has run I'll have off to, uh... with the gem. Yeah, I'm gonna Does try. This curiously twisted piece of wire try this and then head back into the bar. Oh dear. Now what would you be wanting with a cruel snare like that? Oh, it's not mine. It belongs to the old guy in the bar. Ah, yes, it would. Okay, yeah, decidedly cryptic. So go we'll go now. back and we'll talk to them. Need to get in the cellar. Right, so I need to get him to make a scene or something. The nervous guy. I remember there was a nervous guy central to the plot in Discworld as well. <coughs> Right, 
Right, let's get back inside, see if we can get into the cellar. We've got like, we've had a few more talky options in this one, but uh, did replay it over lockdown. Oh, wow. It's fairly recently. I, yeah, it's been, it's been about 20 years or so for me. So I can't remember any of the puzzles at all. Right, let's speak to the nervous guy now. We've got a bit more... Maybe I can talk to him about the curse or something and it might aggravate him. Or Come on, away you go. Let's get on with it, George. Hello. Okay, I can ask him about the dig. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what can I'm you trying that five. I, I didn't complete McGuire five. Did. You don't believe that damned hooligan, do you? Why not? I need to get it again and complete tell you a tale or two. Okay, gem. Have you heard about the gem which Pegram found? I heard a rumour, but you can't believe everything you hear or see, can you? Mm, that is literally all I can ask him about the gem. Where can I find Professor Pegram? I heard he's gone fishing. Gone fishing? I don't know where. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, ask him about the snare. What do you suppose this wire is used for? Activate his PTSD for lols. Uh, I missed that what entirely. What do you suppose this wire <laughs> is used for? How should I know? Shake my hand. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn it, you're right. I can't seem to fool anyone. Okay. Uh, Going to have a chat See to the later. barman. I can't ask him <clears throat> for a drink anymore. Mind you, I suppose it's because we Excuse know that me. he's not meant to have any drinks. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I heard three is apparently really hard to get hold of. Oh, here we go. I can ask him. I can ask the uh, barman about Nervous Guy. Do you know Sean Fitzgerald very well? I know him enough not to sell him more than two pints. He's like a kid when he gets a few beers inside him. Oh, we like that. I'm not surprised. He's on medication for his nerves. There's nothing wrong with his nerves. He's just screwy. Okay, intriguing. Do you know a man called Pegram? Indeed I do. Are you a friend of his, by any chance? I love how you mess with people and putting click games just to trigger them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm going to say yes. In a manner of speaking, I'm going to say I yes, am. I am a friend. Right, me boy. Oh, 160 <laughs> quid he owes me. Pay off. But that's Pegram's business, not mine. That backfired. Ah, but he's done a bunk, hasn't he? Scampered. I know. That's why I'm here. To look for him. And what about the money he owes me? When I find him, I'll remind him about it. I think that's pretty fair. Did Pegram stay here? Yes, he did. Six nights plus breakfast. That sounds good. He couldn't have had breakfast this morning. Not unless he had it before he went to bed. What the hell are you talking about, Doyle? The history fella. I seen him this morning. Crack a dawn. I had to get up at four o'clock to see to the missus. I didn't know your wife was sick, Pat. She's not. Anyhow, I went out to empty the bucket. And what do you think I saw? For the love of God, Doyle, get to the point. It was the history man heading out to the village on a bicycle. Okay. I knew it. Hand over me money or I'll throw you out. Can I see Pegram's room? It's been taken by one of the brothers from the reformatory. They come every year. For spiritual That's a good one. They're Have you checked on a uh, Gog Maverick? Stuff. They've usually got some of the older stuff on there. I wouldn't want to disturb a man of God. Especially not a big fella from the bad boy's home. I don't blame you, Mick. That brother's got muscles like a muscle man. Okay, I can't... Come on, I've got to be able to see Never his room. Don't change the subject. Are you going to pay but me? I bundled on Steam. Nice. No way. 
Listen. How much was it? I'm I might have to have a look at that. Friend. I've never even met the guy. But I need to find Pegram urgently. I think his life is in danger. Damn right it is. Excuse me for butting in, Michael, but I think the young fella's telling the truth. I'm <laughs> some sorry <laughs> I bit your head off so It's a bit annoying, That's isn't okay. it? I understand. I guess. May I borrow this towel? Sure you can, on one condition. Give me What's my money. That? You keep it away from old Ron. Who's Ron? Guy in the corner? That's him yeah. in the corner. With the hygiene problem. Oh, no. Mac can be Does this a false killer nose mean for gaming stuff. It's not Red Noah's Day again, is it? Uh, I don't know. But this is part of a clown's costume. I know that. Good God almighty. What do you take me for? How the heck am I meant to get into this do bloody you room? This man? Beneath the steel you sky. Nice. Asked me that. Nice. I was just talking. I might. I'm going through. Going through Broken Does Sword. Just done Discworld. Broken Sword. Oh, I think God Discworld man. Two or Discworld Noir Coming next. Where? Maybe Broken Sword Two after that. You won't play the innocent with me, Mister. And I've also got what you do with recently, your own business, but don't which I want to have a go on on the stream for the first time. Is um, XCOM Terror from the Deep on PS One? That looks up my alley. I love XCOM. I love the new XCOM games, and I have I never played Terror from the Deep, so I really want to give it a go. Uh, let me replay with different powers. Nice, nice. Uh, right, I'm just going to ask him about. Are you sure you don't recognize this? <laughs> oh, I told you no. Sorry, having to fix my microphone again and be very careful. Um, right, that's all I think I'm getting out of him on this Thanks. one. But I can't see the room. Hello. Can't do anything with him. Sorry to bother you. Don't need to pick that up anymore. So I'm going out of town on a bicycle. What? Uh, maybe if I ask him about Here, this. Here, this wire belongs to you. Oh no! Never saw it before. No. Uh, there's I'll nothing more I can really do to nervous guy. I don't think I've gone through all of the bits. Hello. Uh, I haven't asked him about what the tissue. What does this tissue suggest to you? <gasps> nothing. Right, nothing about the tissue. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. Nice, we're getting through these quickly. What do you think this quickly. tool is used for? Uh, something to do with horses? Wrong. It's for opening manhole covers. Barkeep. I just had oh, a chat with the really? barkeep. Well, you learn something every day. This is going nowhere. This wire is used for. How should I know? See you later. I just had a chat with the barkeep. There was a lot going on about owing him money. The have glass a contained a dark liquid like molasses with a creamy white froth on the top. Well, that is a a glass of Guinness. Can I pick up the glass? Oh, yeah, it's my drink. Cool. Let's... Is that actually doing anything? Did it make a sound then? Checking his watch. Hello. Why is he checking his watch? Sorry to bother you. Right, maybe, maybe just have a drink. You never know. Solves most problems. Somehow, I'd managed to drink. Get the, the nervous guy drunk brew. with it. The thing is, I can't. 
I felt strangely compelled to order another. I can't even though pick it up to go in my inventory. Against it. No. I felt... Careful. Maybe if I Excuse talk to me. him about it now. Uh, yes, sir? Oh, yeah, I can... May I have another beer, please? Certainly, sir. Same again? Yeah, I'll Take a drink like that and it would be so good, wouldn't it? That's the secret of the master. If you could actually sword. just have a drink in a leap, that would be brilliant. I don't know how much suspended like skillfully development input would be needed for that. How how intensive it would be, but it would be a really nice addition. Gravity, like manner from heaven. Okay. Thanks. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and just drink and see if anything happens. Cause that gave us a new little bit then. No. <laughs> I felt strangely no. Right, that's just the same Excuse me. I wonder if I can just ask hey, him. Hmm. I just thought of. You know, I'm serious. Have you considered Ooh. turning McDevitt's into a cocktail bar? Maybe I have to keep talking to him, keep Cocktails drinking, and get different cool. ones. What? Kids in the bar? Can you imagine it? Pinball, pimples, and puke. All right, I get the picture. Oh. I'll settle for a glass of stout. It's going to be the same again, unfortunately. I really don't know where we're going wrong here, which, again, isn't unusual. Right, I, I don't think I can even pick it up anymore. I think I've drunk enough. Uh, oh, I mean, it's still in chat with him, that's why. I've spoken to him about all of that stuff. Thanks. I can, I can just keep drinking. But that was a different conversation that we just had. So you never know. Somehow I'd managed to drink. Again, we finished it. Right, let's try again. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. More beer over here. Yes, it sir. is different every time, so maybe we just have to keep doing it. Thanks. Maybe the the thing that we have to do here is just get drunk. No. I mean, it's possible, isn't it? I felt... No. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More beer over here. Okay, now we've hit yes, the same. Sir. We've hit the same uh, as the last time, so I think that's a good place to give up Thanks. on that endeavour. Don't know if I can talk to him now and other things different. Or any of them, really. No, it's all the same. Sorry. Right. So I need to be in the Hello pub. Again. Apparently. Whenever there's an electrical fault with the glass washer. Hmm. What? Uh, right, there's nothing else here. I'll see you later. Maybe if I... It was an electric glass washer. If I look it at it, no, I might be able to talk to him about it. The, gla the Not glass. The glass contained. I don't want that. I want to look at the things. The white whiskers on the bartender's Next flushed to it. face were like garlands on a Christmas tree. The resemblance ended there. 
The top of his head was too slick and shiny to act as a perch for a Christmas angel. It was an electric pump operated by pushing a small lever. Maybe. No. Oh, if I yeah. maybe try and uh, try and break the pump so that he has to go down to the cellar. Then while he's in the cellar, try and break the uh, glass washing machine. Did he just shrug? I have a feeling he just shrugged. Because I can't use the glass washer for anything. Oh, this is a this is a tricky bit. One more? No, that's all of it. I felt. It was an electrical plug attached to the glass washer. Uh, see, we can't get round the back of the bar in order to mess with it because he won't he won't he won't let us through i mean quite rightly so i, th I need to get nervous guy to make a get scene out. so that then he has to go and <sighs> let me if I look at him... I recognized the guy from McGuire's description. He was real twitchy. Right. Twitchy. I've got to remember to look at things, because that can give you some pretty good clues. Hello. <coughs> uh, no, there's nothing else that is popping up in here. Sorry to bother you. Maybe talking to this guy over here. Hello, Tally. Oh, nice and spicy knickknacks. Oh, I hey. love knickknacks. We don't, we don't get them. I'm the only one in our house who loves knickknacks. Oh, there again, Mister. Yeah, the thing before, and I had to try and fix it to get access to the cellar. Oh, I can ask him about nervous guy. Do you remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? Hmm. Oh, let me see now. I think me brain box needs a spot of lubricant. Thing broken, you had to fix it, yeah. Come on, barkeep. Can I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink for my friend here. Who? Doyle? <laughs> Has he conned you into buying for him? Shame Gotta love on some your predictive match. text. Same again. Just a point this time, Michael. One point of realm coming up. Gonna have to get drinks Maguire's description. Do you remember Sean Fitzgerald uh, now? I can picture the scene as if it was only last week. like a Christmas tree, Maguire's description, it. I think. It was only last week. Fitzgerald was there all right. Him and a bunch of students. He was speaking with the boss man. Okay. Okay. Bye for now. Maybe I can ask him about that. Maybe I can ask Fitzgerald about being there. No. Hello. Oh, I can. I can ask him about the dig. Doyle told me you definitely worked at the dig. You don't believe him, do you? Patrick Doyle is a moron and a scoundrel. Even so, he saw you talking to Pegram. You can't prove that, mister. No. Oh, God. Yeah. This See is like later. pulling teeth. That's the only thing I can talk to him about. Right, maybe this guy at the back here. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. Hello there. What now? Can't talk to him about Nervous Guy. I can't ask him about the snare, though. What do you though. make of this piece of wire? It looks ordinary enough to me. No, I like it when it's a nice quick answer, not Goodbye, whibbling around now. the houses a lot. Uh, 
Uh, right, maybe talk to him again. I might have to Excuse leave this me. area. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, I can just ask him for another pint. More beer over here. Yes, sir. But I can't, for some reason, I can't pick it up, so I can't take it. Thanks. To Maguire. <laughs> but after this, now I'll have I'll have talked to all of them about pretty much everything. Hello again. And got nowhere, pretty much. What? No, absolutely nothing. Hey, would you like to shake my... Uh, no, on second thought, forget it. Right. Did you buy anyone a drink? No, Bourne, I've just gone I'll through it. and later. No, I can't uh, do anything. Let me have another look at him. The white whiskers on the bartender's <laughs> flushed face were like garlands on a Christmas tree. The resemblance so he's like a Christmas there. tree, apart the from top on top, where he's, he's very bald, shiny, essentially. As a perch for a Christmas angel. It's weird that he says fairy in the subtitles, but an angel There was a elsewhere. vacant look on his cow-like face that said quite clearly, nobody home. It was impossible to tell if his state was due to the beer or missing chromosomes. Okay... Right, let's go out and have another chat with the lad outside. I haven't got a crowbar. A crowbar would be handy, wouldn't it, at this point? There's the electric box out the front. We might be able to do something with the electric box. But it's... Right, let's have another look. Let's look at him for a start. The lad was doing his best to express his adolescent aggression. His effort was somewhat diminished by the fringe of milk on his lightly feathered upper lip. Right, let's have a... We'll have a chat to him. See if there's anything hey, new. Hey, Maguire. What do you want to know? Okay, I can ask him about the dig now. Are you sure Fitzgerald worked at the dig? Oh, yes. It was him, all right. Would I tell a lie? Well, he denies it. I saw them together only last night. I wish you'd told me that sooner. What were they doing? Pegram gave Fitzy a box. He didn't look too happy it's about it. gem, maybe. That's why I he's so twitchy. It. But how am I going to persuade him to part with it? Break his fingers. I mean, yeah, that'd do it. Do that. that would. I could. Thanks for the offer, kid. But I'll try a more subtle approach. Chinese burns. I mean, breaking his fingers was breaking his fingers would make him let go of a box. That's fair. That is fair. What's Fitzgerald scared of? Everything and everyone. So I shouldn't have any trouble getting him to talk. He's a pushover. But don't scare, don't scare him, him too, too much. much. Important. Try the soft touch. Butter him up a bit. Okay, okay. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Okay, we're maybe cooking with slightly drier wood. Butter him up a bit. So we've got to remember, be nice to him, be kind to him. I reckon he's got the box with the gem in it. Here we go, right. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> right, dig. McGuire says he saw you working at the dig. What's more, he saw you talking with Pegram. PTSD for the win. Are you going to answer? I knew this would happen. Yes. I knew I'd get caught. Thank goodness. Just my luck. Grasped up by a delinquent and a dimwit. I need to talk to Professor Pegram. 
If he's still alive. What do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah, you too, if I'm right. You're not from the social security. <laughs> Hell no. What makes you think that? Well, uh, I was claiming benefit at the same time I was working for people. Naughty, naughty. I'm not in a position to make judgment, Sean. That's between you and your conscience. All I want is to talk to Pegram about the gem. But he's not here. I know that. But he left that package with you, didn't he? No. Let's speak to him about Pegram. So where did Pegram go? I don't know. I swear it. He came to see me early this morning. Said he was leaving. We're getting somewhere. We're actually making progress. He asked me to give this package to a guy called Marque. Okay, talk to him about the package. The package, Sean. I can't do it. It is on the table. It's Why just not? very beige on a very defender. beige table. So what? You didn't have any qualms about your benefit scam. So where's the harm in taking a peek inside Pegram's package? Easy now. You don't know these people. I can't. I don't dare. This is your last chance to show me the package, <coughs> Fitzgerald. I've been patient with you, but now it's time to kick ass. But he'll kill me. Who will? The man from Paris. Jack Marquet. Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double crossed Marquet, I'd be dead. Okay, I'm going to talk to him about what the castle a bit. What did Pegram find at the castle? The entrance to an underground chamber. Intriguing. It was filled with earth and rubble, and Pegram had us dig it out. We uncovered a secret room, a hidden chapel. Did Pegram find the gem in the altar room? I don't know. He made us leave and wouldn't tell us why. Half an hour later he came out, white as a sheet he was. He closed down the dig and locked up the castle, sent us all away. From the sound of it, Pegram had discovered more than just the gem. Okay, let's speak I'll about Marquet. Marquet. Give the package to me. No! Why should I trust like you? I can't spook I him too much. I don't know who to trust anymore. I wish I'd never even heard of the Lockmarn gem. Oh. Oh, he's grabbed it. He's been hit. He's going to have dropped the package down a grate, isn't he? That's the only way it could have gone. Hey, I just seen a big red. Get out of here, Maguire. Come back when you're old enough. What's the lad howling about? A big red sports car. Sean Fitzgerald's been run over. Called it. Get out. Okay, right. Bad for Sean Fitzgerald, good for us. Noisy little tyke. No. Maybe you should send out some medicinal brandy makers. Oh, yes. And who's going to pay for it? Not me. Me too. Neither. I could... I could pay for it. I could pay for it. Right, is that something on the desk still? Isn't it? I think that's just a bar mat. Uh, right, okay, well, you know what, let's let's get out there. I'll try and treat it as we would. We'd go out there, wouldn't we, immediately? It's like when I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. Try not to think about what I would do, kind of knowing the overlay of the situation and the fact that it's a D&D &D game. What would the character do? Oh, the, the thing's off the box. Okay. Okay. I was telling the truth about Fitzy, mister. <coughs> okay, okay, calm down. Now tell me what happened. We're getting there, we're getting there. I was standing here, 
minding me own business when I saw this beautiful red sports car coming up over the hill. Treated to an FMV seat, not FMV, but a cutscene. Fitzy comes tearing out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass, but the car just flies at him. It was too fast for poor old Fitzy. I made him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. Oh, crikey. That's quite graphic, isn't it, for the, the 90s? Testing, the driver hops out. And I couldn't believe my eyes. So he's uh, he's been kidnapped. Oh yeah, a hundred percent smoother on PC. Did, like yeah, if you if you haven't been here before, it's janky, and that's because we're playing it on a PS1 console. So bear with with a little bit of jank if you can, please. <laughs> right, I can ask him a couple of things now. Did Fitzgerald drop anything when he was hit? I didn't see. It all happened so fast. He definitely did, and it's gone down the drain. <coughs> did this pixie have a scar on his cheek? I couldn't see. He was wearing a stupid mask. Are you a special agent? Sorry to disappoint you, kid. Kind of not. a special agent. I'm just an ordinary Broken guy sword caught up GTA. in a of yes. And you're drunk. Not so. Yeah. I'd you love another kind of beer in the boozer. GTA L.A. Oh, Noir yeah, style okay, detective thing. I loved that. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Right, let's have a look at these bits and pieces. The plastic cover had been smashed by the Pixie's car, revealing a switch. Well, I'm obviously going to flip the switch. I pushed the switch down. But in doing so, it snapped off in my hand. Whoopsie. Probably shouldn't have flipped the switch. Yeah, is it is a bit slow. It's a lot slower here on on PS One. But considering, yeah, this is like what twenty five ish, give or take. 25 years old i think it's pretty it's doing pretty well discworld cartoon animation vibes ah oh, i love the discworld cartoons absolutely love them excuse me yes sir yes sir <clears throat> oh we haven't we can't ask him about anything right so what Switch. I don't I want just... anything. Uh, just give me a shout when you do. I flipped a switch. What did it do? Bit of an odd one. Well, a very odd one actually, because I definitely flipped a switch. A uh, huge thanks, by the way, for all being here for chatting. I don't say thank you enough because you're all wonderful, wonderful people. Um. And it's really nice to have people who kind of get the vibe, uh, if you know what I mean. <coughs> uh, so thank you for being here. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for all of all of that lovely, wonderful stuff. It is very much appreciated. I'm going to try and flick this switch again, even though he said it broke. It was impossible to return the switch to its original position. Right, maybe. Let's have a look down here. The drain was covered with a grating. Let's try now. See if we can use that. Maybe. Uh, the animation... Oh, I, I loved the Discworld cartoons. I've got them on DVD. Um, and I have made a start of digitising them for myself. Um, just because my kids have really broken the DVD once and as soon it's not going to be possible to get hold of it. Uh, so I've I've made a start. We'll get in there, but yeah. Yeah. They were kind of like the 90s kind of Christian cartoon videos. 
I never really made that connection before, but they were quite similar. First time enjoying the show. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. It's genuinely appreciated. Uh, I'm rubbish at video games, so it's uh, these ones I can kind of do because it's it's a bit slower. But you don't need skill. You just need to sit and think about it. What came first, Discworld or Broken Sword? Hanging head in shame. Never got into it. Hey. Uh, the Discworld books definitely Go there came again, first. Mister. Oh, I can ask him about the what pixie. What do you know about leprechauns, Doyle? Leprechauns? Is it the little people you're talking about? Sure, and a cousin of mine was wet. I've got a music with rocks in t-shirts. Oh, it's one of my favourite really ones. Oh, I am rocking that? Bill and Ted today, though. That's the truth, I'm telling you. She fell asleep on a fair day. <coughs> when she woke up, there he was. A little fella. All in green. Hmm. Tell me more about your cousin and the leprechaun. Please do. But don't don't go into graphic detail, please. Oh no. Well, young Mary was speechless, especially when the leprechaun up and spoke to her. Be my bride, me darling, says he, and shall never want for riches again. Okay, says she, and he slips her in easy. On her finger. That guy needs to stop sneezing. Ah, man. So there you are. Proof that the little people exist. Well, that's oh, no proof. Born, yes. All you have is her word for it. <laughs> Not so. The following spring, she had a little baby. Okay. Did the leprechaun's promise come true? What promise was that now? That she'd never want that for she'd riches never again. Want for riches again. Now, there's the strangest thing. She never did. I thought you said she was claiming the social part. Indeed, Mr. O'Brien. But there's riches and riches. She told me, Pat, she says, that little darling boy is all the riches in the world to me. Okay, okay. Odd, odd, odd. Bye for now. Right, I flicked a switch. I don't know what it's done. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. Hello there. What now? I can ask him about the red sports car. The boy told me Fitzgerald was driven away in the car that hit him. You were sat right by the window. The wires are always spinning wired yards. Oh, night, Aloysius. I, I hope you've had a lovely time. And I hope you have Television a good night. Television I expect. Or comics. <laughs> if I was you... I take what he says with a generous pinch of salt. McGuire's tale about the car sounds quite plausible to me. He says the driver was dressed like a leprechaun. That boy has a head full of fluffy toys. Goodbye oh, I'm going to use that on my own children at some point. That boy's got a head full of fluffy toys. Right, I'm wondering if... Right, if I just drink now, is he going to use the glass washer and then there's going to be a problem with it? No, we got there, we got I there, we've done sleep. it all. Let's talk to him, we'll see if there's anything. Excuse me. God, I don't... Uh, yes, sir? We haven't really got very far at all, have we? Give me another beer, dude. Give everyone another beer. There Let's we go. Party, guys. I think you've had enough, don't you? Hey, listen. Is it supposed to taste the way it does? Gopaline stilt is brewed from the finest chemicals in the world. That's, this is a different... Kind of, this is a different chat. I'm sorry, but the pump appears to it's be the broken. the pump that we broke. I can fix it for you. I don't think so. This is a job for a professional electrician. Oh, well, at least the glass washer is still working. Bang. It's not my dear, <laughs> is it? Um, 
I mean, I could fix it. Let me fix it for you. No. Does this piece of... No. It... Yes, it's an electrician's card that I've got. Well, no. There it's we go. I had a honest. feeling. <laughs> Here's a house bedeviled with faulty wiring of a wayward nature. Here's you, an electric man, with a little plastic card to prove it. Hmm. I still want to see what you can do before I let you touch me beer pumps. You can make a start on the glass washer. Okay, 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 we're getting somewhere. We're actually managing to do something. Which is impressive for us, let's let's be fair. And when you finish that, will you take a look at the pumps? Yes, absolutely I will. It was an electrical plug attached to the glass washer. Right, let's pull it out. Pull it out. We're actually making some progress here. Come on. I used all my knowledge of electrical engineering to examine the plug. Seemed fine to me. Right, let's have a look. I couldn't see anything obviously wrong with the machine. I figured it must be the wiring. Okay, well, let's use the metal wire on the... This could be... This could be the wrong move. I replaced the fuse with a piece of wire. I mean, that is not a good move. I knew it was dangerous, but I was desperate enough to disregard everything I knew about standard safety precautions. Excuse me, Mr. Leary. I fixed your glass washer, no problem. Bingo! And a blessing to all the saints. A free half pint to that man on the house. Now, could you take a look at the beer pumps? Well, I guess so, but I'm not making right, any Right, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look and then tell him I'll, I'll have to go downstairs or something. The pumps are in the cellar, right? That's right. You'll find a flashlight down there somewhere. <laughs> We're actually making progress. To the cellar! Amazing. I'm going to give it a save, I think, now. Just in case. What a dumb place to store a flashlight. A dark cellar. The only way I was going to find anything down there was to feel around. Okay. Let's give it the old save. Now, luckily, we've got two slots we can use here. Unlike the Discworld game, which needed about eight slots or something for one save, this needs one slot per save. So we've got a two-slot rolling save pattern, just in case it all goes wrong. Just in case. It always it always makes me a bit nervous though clicking that OK button because it could it could just stop corrupt done. But it looks like we're okay. Right, what's this? My hand closed on a long metal rod. Filth. I pushed the lever and heard the grating <coughs> of metal, but nothing appeared to happen. So that'll be the the things up above. I think a generation never kept just one so far for that exact reason, 100%. My um, my kids looked at me funny because on my... Right, that wants to go upstairs. On my Xbox Final Fantasy save, I have a rolling save pattern over the two memory cards of about 50 save games. Uh, right, do I need to, maybe I need to go upstairs and then try and, try and move the grates and hopefully that lets a bit more light down into the place, maybe? Uh, 
It is warm. Is anybody else warm? I mean, it's just me that's a bit clammy. It's been a hot few days. Right, this makes sense. This makes logical sense. And never trust autosave. 100% born. Exactly right. Exactly right. Come on. Yeah, this, this makes logical sense. To go outside, try these. They'll let more light in. I think that that, that works. Fingers crossed. Rolling save on Skyrim, save me after game glitch, had to roll back. I... I lifted the trap door and an overpowering smell of stale beer... Uh, I got really annoyed with Skyrim because I, I did keep a rolling save pattern, but it wasn't far floor, back enough. And I... Too far to jump. Had, um... Oh? What's going on here? Excuse me. There was a nasty feeling in my guts I usually associated with light opera. It was Khan. What's the problem? Did you see what happened here a few minutes ago? What was that? A man was involved in an unfortunate accident. I didn't see anything. What about the boy? Well, he doesn't know anything either. The kid, well, you know how it is in these rural communities. Not enough genes to go around. I prayed McGuire had the sense to keep his mouth shut. Was the guy hurt bad? He's been taken care of, but he thinks he dropped a small parcel. You didn't happen to find it, did you? If I had, I would have taken it to the police. Of course. Thank you. Creepy. Creepy guy. Um... It wasn't my nerves that stopped me jumping. <laughs> it was my damned legs. They wouldn't move. Yeah, Skyrim, I... It was like... In terms of the story missions, it was literally... Uh, it was really early on. It was where you go up into the kind of the mountainy bit and then you've got the huge hall and there's the relief carving all up the one wall of it. Um... And I had played, I hadn't, I hadn't done that bit and I'd just gone and played and I'd cleared out all of the, uh, I'd done loads and loads of side question essentially. Um, and then I went back to do the story and they were like, oh, you've got to clear out this, got to clear out this place. And it turns out I'd already cleared it out when I was just adventuring and, and exploring. Um, but the two main characters, the old guy and the blade, were just stood by the entrance waiting for me to solve the puzzle, the first puzzle that would let you out into it. Um, so I couldn't complete it. And I'd gone on, I'd explored for so long, then I'd got a Daedric armour and sparkling beneath all the open sorts of things. Uh, and I had to get rid of it all and start again. And I haven't really got got really around to it yet it was pegram's gem all right a large uncut blue stone As i knew I it made logical lock, sense to go up and open i realized that thing. the fascination it could command i guess i was already under its spell right let's have a look around at things did you find it what whatever you was looking for uh yeah listen mcguire i want you to keep this to yourself no problem oh just chuck us up a crate of lager no oblivion way. was You're brilliant fun enough. but i love they skyrim i keep wanting to do the vr it, one because i've got an oculus quest spot. um which obviously you can connect to a pc sure. and i yeah, love vr games elite dangerous sure. star wars squadrons formula if 122 Keep a look out brilliant for games in vr but um okay. i've heard that but skyrim vr is a bit rubbish Oh, and shout if you see that Ferrari. Right, let's have a let's have a look. We can have a look at that. Uh see, I've heard about that, but I don't. I 
can't I don't understand PC well enough to like I do play it. I play mostly on PC these days. But I don't understand it well enough to um to make sure all it the mods are in and all of that stuff. Photograph of a prize winning carp. Okay, prize winning carp. Let's see if we can turn that off. The faucet creaked, coughed, and spewed out a stream of rusty colored water. Okay, well, let's turn that off then. I shut off the faucet as tight as I could, but it kept on dripping. Okay, is there anything else over here that we can use? It was an empty carton which had once contained caustic soda. It was a bunch of cleaning materials. I'm just looking, just looking at everything at the moment, seeing if there's anything handy. It was a couple of Sky Blovion. You mean Sky uh, Oblivion, but just updated to play with like Skyrim controls and magic system and things. It was a, bunch, a bunch of cleaning, of cleaning materials. materials. Still. Huh. I'm not gonna be able to get these pipes to work. I tried to pull the lever. But it wouldn't move with uh, the Xbox trap door open. really simple, yeah. Yeah, I, do, I just don't do mods and things like that most of the time. Like, I've got a decent... I've got a, what, um, RTX 3060, Ryzen 5, 3600, 16 gig RAM. You know, I've got a decent PC setup. Um, but... I just don't kind of... All the mods and stuff like that, I just don't get around to. Right, I've, I've got... Do I just go now? I'm going to call Nico again. <coughs> See if she can give me a, a hint of where to go to. I've been playing, I've been playing a lot of strategy these days. I do love strategy titles. So I've been on like Jurassic World Evolution, uh, XCOM, Hello, uh, Zoo Tycoon, Starship Troopers, Nico? loads of them. Oui, I love oui. a good strategy. It's me, George. Are you okay? Yes, of course I am. Well, take care. I'll be back soon. Yeah, thanks for calling, George. That was a really pointless Any phone call. Our friend, the clown? Yeah, he turned up dressed as a pixie. What? Did he see you? He came back and talked to me. Oh, you're crazy, George. The killer knows who you are. Relax. It wasn't me he was after. It was Pegram's gem. Really abrupt ending to the phone call again. Uh, basically, when full Ligipater Skyrim mods and I've accidentally made a mail <laughs> Amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why not, eh? People bought Leisure Suit Larry. God knows why. But they did. Uh, right, am I just go am I going now? Am I leaving? I can't just leave. Because I need to get the bus, and the bus only comes once a day or something. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I think people would love to see... Hey, Maguire. Playboy Skyrim. What do you want to know? Right. Uh, oh. Oh. What do you think of my flashlight? It's a torch. That's what we call it on this side of the Atlantic. Want a closer look at the gem, Maguire? No, I don't. Jules is for girls. Ugh, you I've better hide well. that, mister. What if the pixie comes back? You'll be in trouble then. I don't believe in pixies. Underneath that costume is a psychotic killer. Smart. Right, I can talk later, to people kid. about... Okay, mister. 
those other things. I can't I can't do anything to that, can I? It was impo Yeah, impossible. Is there anything else I can do? No. Maybe I'll just have to talk to them about it. Oi, we've been backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards into this pub on this stream and it is starting to annoy me a little bit. I need to get more blah, 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 movement, forward traction, huzzah, onwards, things like that. I wanted to get into Pegram's room, but this does literally just take me to the bar. Uh, I keep getting jealous of all your vids, but super. <laughs> oh yeah, there we are. You got past it. Yeah, the uh, the auto catch got that. We keep the we keep uh, gay in there as an auto catch just for people who are using it as a uh, as a derogatory term, which we don't like. Um, but yeah. I haven't seen any of those, but I, I accident is completely an accident. I don't know if I posted it in Neon Nans, but I've been walking around for forever because I found paints on Coruscant, literally the first bit, um, and I just, apropos of nothing, just painted BD1 as a little trans pride flag. Um, oh, maybe I have to do that. I don't. I don't honestly know what I'm doing right now. The faucet creaked. Yeah, rusty coloured water. But I can't actually, like, do anything to the barrels. He just keeps shrugging if I tell him to look at that. What was it again? It was a calendar with a faded prize winning car. Prize winning car. So he's gone, he likes fishing and didn't. Didn't the professor guy like fishing? Maybe I can use that to to get in with the um, with the the barman or something if he's a really big fisherman. We'll talk to him anyway. See what he says. What's that down on the floor there by the stool? Anything? No, nothing. Side of a table or something, maybe. <coughs> oh, it's so odd. It just disappeared. PS One glitches. I'm assuming then. Excuse me. A yes, sir. A yes, sir. Let's have a look. I found your flashlight. So I see it. You'd better keep hold of that until you fix the pumps. Does this gem mean anything to you? Phew. What a beauty. I bet you wish that was real, don't you? Oh, yes. Uh... Hey, bartender? Uh, landlord, if you don't mind. Sorry. Uh, shake my hand, why don't you? Now, why should I do that? <laughs> what he you knows. Up your sleeve? Nothing. Come on, just shake my hand. Oh, not just now, mister. I have to be careful on account of the health restrictions. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Thanks. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing to try and get out of here. Hey. Hello there again, mister. Uh, shh. Do you recognize this gem? Saints be praised. It must be worth a fortune. Uh, maybe it is. Have you seen it before? I'm just getting absolutely it's the nowhere one which at the moment. Took from the dig. Oh. How come maybe you're going to speak to the farmer who's blocking up the entrance to the castle? Oh. You could take that to Dublin and sell it. Uh, no, I'm not going to sell it. Bye for now. Let's go. And, we'll go and speak to the the farmer guy on the hay bales, cramping my style. Nothing I really need a torch for over there, though. Hmm. <coughs> 
Or maybe if I close the grate again, I could I'll be able to use the torch down in the bottom or something. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe use the torch on this bit down here. No. I can't can't close that, can't do anything with that. Can't go anywhere there. Right, let's head up on here. Skywind or Sky Oblivion out yet? I don't know. Not a clue. Not a sausage. Right. Come on. Hi. Come Give on, George. Go on with it. So I see. What now? Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, maybe just talk to him. Hi. It's me again. So I see. What now? Okay, I can talk to him about the fast car. Did you happen to see a red sports car down on the road? <coughs> I caught a glimpse of a flash of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. The driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Is that so? Yeah, he knocked somebody down outside the bar. What an idiot! There's some music oh, going on there. He was traveling too fast. So fast, he ran right under the car? I mean, the car was traveling too fast. But you'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming. Maybe you know the guy who was hit by Maybe this is how we get him to move. His name is Sean. I, I did Jerry. try and shine the torch in the farmer's oh, eyes. I know yes, him, that's a all right. perfectly logical that's tactic, nephew, I think. The idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. But he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you could report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money <laughs> on the Ferrari. Yeah, music equals progress. I, I was think thinking that. I want to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not sure I want to know. But you're his uncle, his own flesh and blood. You're right, but what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb that... I'll stay and guard it. What a moral dilemma. Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. Or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard. It'll need some thinking about. Why, there's no problem. You're right. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. No, 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 no. I'll guard it. I'll guard the haystack. You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvellous. I think I should start me inquiries in the bar. Ah, we actually did something. Amazing. He strode off in the direction of McDevitt's bar, leaving me to contemplate the stack of hay. Right. First thing, I'm going to save it. And we go to save over... Uh, we saved it into save two last time, so... Save one. Uh, yes, please. And then we're going to give this haystack a bit of a climb. Nice. We've actually moved on a little bit, which I'm quite happy with. Come on. Get saving. There we go. Right. Let's go for it. Oh. 
Squeaky bum time. Very much squeaky bum time. The stack of hay stopped short of the top of the wall. Even if I stretched as far as I could, the wall was out of reach. What I needed was a slice or two of Alice's Wonderland. Right, have I got anything? Uh, maybe the towel? No. Uh, no. Can't do anything there. Can't see anything there. That looks like, that there looks like a handhold or something. Uh, what's the game as a little plinky music tone when you discover something? Uh, I remember the Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, you discovered the little dragons and it went like that. The tool, maybe the tool. Let's have a look at the tool. Uh, no. The thing is, I, I haven't, I can't seem to use anything on anything, if you know what I mean. There's no kind of use function. Above my head was a gap in the wall where the massive stones had fallen away. Mm hmm. Looking at each individual. Oh! I pushed my fingers into the narrow crack. It went back several inches into the rock. You're making your own jokes now. Pure filth. Stop it. I pushed my fingers into the narrow crack. Don't. It went back several inches into the rock. There was a narrow crack ooh, ooh, between ooh, two ooh, of the ooh. stones. With... Maybe I can wedge that into the crack. Oh, yes. I inserted the end <coughs> of the lifting key in the mortarless crack and gave it a firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. It's not my real ladder. It's just my step ladder. Was it here that there was a goat? Oh, look at that. Look at that animation. Goat! Oh, right. I'm glad I saved it because I believe you can actually die on this bit. Right, I need to get here. got a red nose maybe I could throw the red nose what on earth are you doing no can't do that what's that it was a rusted piece of iron maybe part of a plow or something okay nothing there Okay, up she gets. Right, I feel if I try and get down here as well, the goat's going to get me. Okay. What can we use on the goat? I can't remember this bit. Just talk. Let's just talk to the goat. That'll do it. Hey, Billy. The animal fixed on me with an evil glare. Behind the malice and resentment, there was a cool intelligence. How you doing, boy? I felt as threatened as I'd been by the assassin and his goons in Paris. Okay. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. No, okay, we're not using that. Maybe I can use 
And use the flashlight on that, make it shine off it. No. Something to do. Like, where is that? Where is that rope? How can I make it tie itself up? Maybe if I try going over here and then... No, 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 no. Because it doesn't stay there. Is there a rock I can pick up or something? Not really. The top of a ladder rose out of the squarely dug hole. I can bugger off. Nothing I can do across here. It was the fiercest, meanest looking old goat I'd ever laid eyes upon. Maybe I need to go back to the bar and talk to them about it a bit. There's nothing nothing here no don't not that way bums okay this bit's a little tougher That damn goat, I remember it being a problem. If I go here, that's just up to the up to the top and, and over the top again, I think. Yeah, over the top again. Seen this scene on a retrospective hardbiz video. Yeah, it's I don't know if I've got what I need. I like that music. No, I can't remember the bloody solution either, Tally, to be honest. Uh, and it's uh, it's stumping me a little. I was thinking, can I... If I use that with that? No, it doesn't like that. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I could blind the goat do you need to get it caught in something but what have I got that could get it caught up I see I was thinking if I could run it round and run it round the trough but it's not looking like it Maybe if I, no, no, don't actually go down. I wanted you to throw the, throw the nose. Maybe I use the gem and say, hey, look, it's the gem. You could get him this iron thing. It was a rusted piece of iron. Maybe part of a plow <coughs> or something. There's no rocks. There's no other things that I can bloody do. I might have a... If I go back and I'll have a chat to the folks in the bar. And maybe they'll know a little something. Because I'm pretty lost. And I know you folks won't be used to me being a little lost, because, like, I'm always so forthright and bang on with knowing exactly what I need to do. But maybe not this time. You can't move quickly after he knocks you down, can you? Like, after he knocks you down, you run to the other side. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm. 
my uh, my friend told me the other day that in order to do a goat impression, you just do a sheep impression and then stick your tongue out. And I imagine there's at least one or two of you trying that right now. And it is very much worth it. So you just make a normal sheep impression, like meh, meh. But then stick your tongue out so it goes meh, meh, meh. meh. Hey, Squire. Goat. What do you want to know? Right, can you tell me anything? No, you can't tell me anything about a goat. Okay. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. See if, see if they've got any, any answers at all. If you have a rope. I don't have a rope, Tally, unfortunately. Wish I did. But there's there's not been a rope in any of this bit, I don't think. Hey, Jude! Only one player can escape unless throughout the whole game without death. Switches work. What? Just finished a game where only one player can escape unless throughout the game, throughout the whole game, without death, switches were flipped. Crikey. Oh! There's him in here now. That what game is that, Jude? Or is it a bit of a spoiler that only one player can escape? Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, hey, stronger. I didn't understand. What do you need of Italian? No, it's probably not called We Were Here. Oh, okay. Oh. I've heard something about that. I don't want anything. Um, sorry, Ale. Just give uh, me a shout when you do. I'm not sure what you mean there. I don't think we need anything in Italian. Unless I'm very much mistaken and it's an Italian goat, which it could well be. Who knows? This crazy day and age. I need to get past a goat. That's what I need to do at the moment. It's proving really quite tricky, to be honest. But there's no, there's no ropes. There's nothing. Nobody's got a hand. And I think if I were to try, even try, even if I could take the ropes from the hay bales, it would cause it all to fall down and make it pointless. It is. It might well be something about timing and having to get on one bit and then jump out of the way or something. But unfortunately, playing on PS1 does not help with timing because of the input lag and all sorts. Alright, let's try back. I don't know why it takes you from here all the way down. I've been lurking whilst failing to escape the spooky medieval castle. Nice. Maybe got it tangled in something. Uh, Stronger ale. I misunderstood. Ah, no problem. No problem. That's okay. Uh, well, well, what the thing that I need to do is I need to get past this goat, and it's not proving useful. I'm gonna try and go there, and then cut back. Cut back. Cut back. No. No, by the time I get up and get out and get at it, it's, it's already up and done, unfortunately. No. Oh, he's going for it again. No, come on. See, it's chewing something. I thought, okay, could I... um. Like, could I give it something to eat? Is there any attached to a rope? Yes. Unfortunately, I can't seem to see anything about the rope. All right, if I try and go there and then... And then dodge. No, nothing. 
Yeah, distraction ale is exactly what I was thinking of. But I don't have anything. I mean, let's try. Matchbook, no. Uh, see, I was thinking like a flashlight. Shine the light in its eyes, something like that. Bloody nothing. This is really pickling my Swede at the moment. I'm going to take a moment while I'm lay down. There's nothing here that I can see which would be helpful. Nothing at all. I was thinking distraction, Ale. I was thinking the same thing. Unless there's a... Can I see the rope just down the bottom? No, I can't do anything with it. The top of a ladder rose out of the squarely dug hole. Which is brilliant. There's some great information. Um, it, that it literally is a ladder going down a hole, uh, Maverick. Oh no, I didn't mean to bloody... That's where I need to get down. Oh, it's not going well. Right, if I do that and then... I pull over and I... Oh, distract. No, nothing. Nothing. Picture? No, it's not going to be a picture. Maybe I'll give him the bar mat to, to eat. I don't know. No. No, not that. Hello, Wartnick, showing you the rope. Yeah, I know it is, but I can't, I can't see anything that I can do with the rope, and I can't think of anything that I could, I could do with it. I completely agree. The rope, the, I think, getting it tangled in something is the way to go, but I don't know how. Let's see how he flicks it. Let's have a look how he flicks it. So he goes back, bumps back, bumps. Oh, was that? No, I think that was that. No, it's not doing it. Right, if I try and go this way, how does the how does the ladder go? Uh, how does the rope go? Sorry. See, I've got two different ways of going. I've got up towards this ladder here and I've got down here maybe if I'm right close to it maybe if I go here let's okay let's George let's just walk just get on with it George please and try and walk to there no he doesn't like that George won't go there can you do anything while he's attacking? I have a feeling that I have to, but I have to. Oh, it's something about dodging him, I think. If anybody wants to look it up online and give me some really vague clues. Because I don't even know if I've got everything that I need in order to complete it. Your knees are going to get gubbed. <laughs> Not the first time. Right, we're stood up. No. Nope. 
Uh, nothing. Uh, just done that. You don't need anything else. Okay, Tally, thank you. See, I was thinking, trying to get the the loop of the length of wire tangled in the tree that's behind us, but we can't seem to do that. I've already solved this puzzle once, many years ago, but, yeah, absolutely maverick. PS1 timing is horrendous. Left side, this is where I was going. I was trying to do that and then... No. Maybe do that and then... Jump, 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 jump. No. Like, timing is... Quicker... See, I'm, I'm, I'm smashing the button there. So if I just keep, I'm going to keep. And he's just not. Is this, is that what you mean? Like by quicker, I just need to. I mean, realistically, you'd be having goat curry and head inside at your try, right? You have to smash on interactable things. Thank you very much, Ale. Let's, let's give that a go. So we're going to... No. No. I wish this goat was dead. It's not often I say that about a living animal. Right, I'm, uh, I'm smashing it. I'm smashing it, but he's not gonna. He's not gonna get there anywhere near in time. I don't think. Keep smashing after bump. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, Born Do you have to go to the ladder first? Maybe get knocked down and then smash the thing on the left. Maybe. Let's try. Let's just smash it. I'm gonna allow that comment through rune. Um. Oh. Uh it's not it's not left here as apparently smash the thing is very much a sex term. <laughs> you strangle on goat. Oh, that's very um Uh it reminds me a lot of the Lord of the Rings adventure game. Right. Right, with there smash 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 smash. Smash. Oh, I just realised how dodgy that looks from... Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> the rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. <sighs> Thank you for the clues and the working it out. Oh, we actually did it. Yeah, I hadn't realised how dodgy it was looking when I was whacking the... Yeah, that doesn't... Let's not do that on stream again. Use chilli and cumin on coat. That... I don't know if it deserves that. Right, we did it. Bloody goat. That's what you get though, goat. Could have been a nice goat. Oh, here we go. Come along, George. On our way. On our way downtown. Oh, I'm so glad we got past that. So glad. Right. Okay. Well, there's stuff here. Let's pick stuff up. This is the old chapel that they were talking about. As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, 
I realized what it was. Aí, it's cocaine. Plaster of Paris. Oh no, Plaster I of Paris. I used it in kindergarten to make yep. casts of animal paw prints. Okay, so that's just Plaster the of Paris. Was empty. Stupid goat. Right. Let's have a look at this. Behind the altar was a carved panel decorated with animals, birds, and plants. No goats, though. You'll notice. Have a look at this. I placed my fingers and thumb into the holes in the wall. Nothing happened. George will just. There was a pattern of five holes arranged on the wall. Okay. They'd been drilled there deliberately. I'm glad he said five because it looks very much like two on PS1 graphics. Uh, no, nothing here really that we could use, I don't think. Let's just try pushing on that and see what happens. Oh. I tried in vain to move the panel. What's this down here? It was a statue which a statue. had fallen from okay. its place on the wall. Goat is rendering the term extent from the back of the carving. <laughs> you ever heard of a guard goat? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get a goat. If I need something guarded now, I'm having a goat to do it. The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. Okay. Is there anything I can do with it, though? Oh, oh. As I swung the stone upright, pattern of holes in the I sand, plaster of Paris. Of I need some water sand. or something. Plaster of Paris, unless it's already already like wet. Yes. See logic. I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. I smoothed the plaster level with the sand. It was my first experience of home improvement. I want to take it out. I... No, okay. The patch of sand where the statue had fallen was covered with a dense sprinkling of plaster. I suppose, plaster. okay, sprinkling is definitely... What's this? The bench had probably been used by Pegram and his archaeological I used to be a goat like you until some American tangled a rope around my knees. <laughs> oh, I love it. The only object on the table which interested me was a small sack. Hmm. Schofield, is it? The only... Uh, let's... I reached into the sack. Oh, no. Right, what is what is this doing? I need some water of some description or some liquid. I haven't got anything. Have I got something and I just don't know about it? No, I haven't got anything. Beer. I was thinking beer, but it wouldn't let me pick any up. And I had thought that it would all be in here, but maybe not. Maybe not. But see, I like about this. We've been fairly stuck, but we're making good progress now. And it was a fairly logical bit of movement there. It was falls over. You lift it up. There's a holes in the sand. You've got plaster of Paris. Like there was water in the pub cellar. Oh, you are not wrong, Maverick. There was the tap. Yeah, the peaty water. I've got anything to put it in. Uh, it depends if it'll let me take the glass or not. Because it wasn't letting me take the glass earlier. It was just when I was trying to use it when it was empty. He was just saying, oh, it's a lovely Guinness, basically. Dissolving mugs. <coughs> That's gone over my head, sorry. It is it is like midnight, so bear with me while I'm an idiot.
a very warm idiot as well. It is still boiling hot here. 13 degrees apparently. That's outside at midnight. 13 degrees. He said he owed you half a pint. He did. But I've, I have had pints before. And a Mission Impossible. Or oh, Monkey Island, sorry, yeah. Oh, the bottomless mug. Or am I thinking of a different Monkey Island? I'm thinking of Curse of Monkey Island, where you have the bottomless mug. Dissolving mug acid thing. So I don't remember that bit. It's been a while since I did the Monkey Island. And the original Monkey Islands, I've only played a couple of times. Curse, I've played over and over. So that's always the one that springs to mind. Come on, George, get on with it. Um, and that's the one where the little Excuse child me. pirate has a bottomless mug policy. Yes, sir. Oh, no, I know 13 isn't boiling, but 13 degrees at midnight is pretty warm, Rune. Um, no, I haven't got, there's no, there's nothing there. Maybe, maybe I can, uh, I don't want, I'll just, maybe I can get into, into here and, and get a mug. No. Or, no, I can't pinch his. Touching the glass washer would have been like, it doesn't keep going when you open the door, George. Have you never been a bartender before? Come on, George. I had to transfer harsh grog from mug to mug at one point. Oh, it's been far too long, Maverick. Far too long. I played the new, the Return to Monkey Island very recent. Well, recently this year, uh, and that was excellent. Oh, if I can, I just take that, please. I'd like to take it. The carton was damp and soggy. Okay. Useless. Maybe this thing that's next to it? No. I looked among the cleaning materials. Nothing that he could use in the cleaning materials. Is that something up on the shelf? No, it's not. I looked up. No, that includes the mop. Okay. See if there's anything in here that we can take. I searched the trash, but there was nothing useful there. And there's nothing that I've got which could be used as a mug. No, not really. Return was a a member berry fest. Yeah, the tap's on. The tap's on, Mav, but I need something to put it in. Unless I wet this. No. No, because that wouldn't work at all. <clears throat> Do you have a receptacle for water? No, that's what I'm trying to get now. Maybe when he's sneezing, I can take his cup off him or something. Because he does, his, he puts his thing down, does a sneeze, and the cup goes a little bit away. Now, no. No, no, no. Wasn't the towel wet? Oh my goodness. You're thinking, wring out the towel on the plaster of Paris. That's a masterstroke. That is bloody brilliant, Bourne. That is. Maybe. We'll give it a go. I don't think, unlike the Discworld games, it doesn't like making you go backwards and forwards too much. Uh, it wouldn't be the tissues, I don't think, because the tissue is grease paint. So that's a bit too... kind of... out there. So I don't think it'll be that. I like the fact that because we played Discworld, this game doesn't like you going here, there, and everywhere. However, we're still doing it. 
wet t-shirt. Easy. Easy. Let's hope that the towel does it. I reckon that's a really good shout. Have a look past the goat. Come on, down we go. George looks buff, yeah. He does. Like, is stereotypically handsome, isn't he? Like, like, he'd get it. Like, wouldn't be my first call, but... He's also brave, but he is also just kind of like waltzing into crime scenes. Damn attractive video game characters. <coughs> Shed 7. Sorry, my mic's broken again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help me get a mic that isn't broken. You considered milking the goat? I squeezed the towel as hard as I could. But I hope that's not a euphemism. Bad. I hope it's not a euphemism, Jude. Have you considered milking the goat? Uh, I should hopefully be able to pull it out now. I smoothed the plaster. Oh. No. I mean, that did just work, didn't it? It did just work. Yeah, Nico's all right. Although, if there's... I squeezed the towel as hard as I could, but it was barely damp. Oh. So, are we thinking now, wet the towel in the thing? Thanks, Stronger. I need, I need tips like that. Wet the towel in the water, in the sink, and then get it over, maybe. Uh, Tally, thank you very much. I won't be too far behind you myself. It is five past midnight. I'd just like to make a teensy bit more progress. Yeah, I don't think you can milk the goat, Jude. I, I did just have a goat. <laughs> Jude, Jude, level with me here. Have you had a drink tonight? I'm terribly sorry about my incredibly broken microphone. I'm, I need to try and keep still so that it doesn't come off. I might be able to fix it with a bit of glue. Barely touch a drop. Scandalous. That's a yes. That is a yes. Direct confirmation. Besides, Jude, you forget that we've been at LaveCon together. I know. Right, come on. Come on. I I was literally just saying a minute ago that the game doesn't want you to go backwards and forwards. And now we're having to go backwards and forwards. Mostly because I'm a bit of an idiot. A moment's indiscretion. <laughs> <coughs> oh no, not adverts. Oh. I hate adverts. I don't even think I get anything from them. Uh, ba -ba -ba He's still sneezing. Come on, PS1. Load, load, load. Let's go. It does take a while, bless it. It's, it's struggling. But it is a 25-year-old game on a 25-year-old console. George has had five points. I could just wee on it. He hasn't broken the seal yet. Hasn't broken the seal. Yeah, George, George and Nico both... Both pretty, uh, pretty all right. The only other duo, I think, you don't really get it in games, but in films, I would have to say, the uh, the classic film, The Mummy, with Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. Uh, phew, phew. 
Right, one sopping wet towel. I held the towel under the faucet and soaked it with water. Right, let's go, go, go. I don't want to give it too long to dry out. Because timing is a thing in this game. As we've learned with the goat, timing is a thing. So we need to be quick. I don't know how it times it. It does need fast travel. You're entirely right. <coughs> like if Jedi Fallen Order can have fast travel, this could have fast travel. Come on, let's go. Let's go. The mummy, the mummy, just the mummy, the mummy. Oh, everything about that film. Literally everything. I still need to get my mummy tattoo at some point. Mind you, there's a lot of tattoos on my list that I need to get. The, the ones right at the top are XCOM, Tomb Raider 2, and um, uh, Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. Those are the three that are really high up on my list. Right, I'm hoping that this is still wet enough. Because he has just left it in his pocket. Like, it would be seeping through a little bit. Uh, Tomb Raider 2... Um, is the kind of... Uh, the one that I'm getting... Um, it'll, it'll go on my, like, circle arm. My arm full of circles. Uh, is the one which is, like, a circle. And then it's got the dragon. And then it's got the other little circle with the bar across it. Um, that... That symbol from Tomb Raider 2 is what I'm what I'm planning on. I think it is I think it is the symbol that the Venice Mafia are using in there actually. I haven't played it in a few months now. In fact since I was last on stream with it. Um I do need to play it again. Maybe next week we'll have a Tomb Raider 2 stream instead of a Broken Sword stream. Just mix it up a little bit. Right, one sopping wet bar towel. Is it going to work? I squeezed the oh. towel as hard as I could, but it was barely damp. What is going on here? Hello, sausage. Hello, Ad. How are you doing? I just soaked that towel. Oh, vey. Right. Can I? I can't pick up that bag. There's nothing in here. I reached into the sack. But it was empty. No, can't do anything with that again. Uh, oh, designing a full on Nerd Gamer Sleeve. I love that. I love everything about that. I've got, at the moment, I have a few. I have Lord of the Rings. And there's another matching one that you can't quite see under there. Which is, they're the two halves of the one ring. I have Elite Dangerous, I have Jurassic World Evolution, I have Terry Pratchett and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or Marvel. I have another Terry Pratchett one there. I have Star Wars and I have a little message from my mum there. And that's it so far. But I have a lot, I have a lot planned. Uh, come on. I need water. something liquidy the bar mat isn't doing it there's nothing under here that I can use Oof. the chop the venice sigil is a circle 
with the S shaped slash through it. The yeah, the S slate S shaped thing is the dragon, isn't it? The the top right bit of that S is a dragon's head. I'm pretty sure is the one. I would if I was on PC, I'd hop over to a browser. But uh I'm not and my phone's not working so I can't even I can't even get on that and, and show you. Yeah, is it is it's that one. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that we're thinking of. But yeah, it's it is that. The chop. Oh gosh, I feel like I feel like we've got in jokes going on here. Right, come on. I knew it wasn't going to be bloody wet enough to get all that way. But how, how, what, how do we bloody get water? It's a, I should just say, oh, could I have a glass, please, mate? I need a glass. No, the other man team stream has a pork chop and it's a cute emoji just there. Nice, nice. Uh, I need a cup, a glass, what could I... Somebody let me know if I've got the thing that I need to use, please. Because otherwise we're going to get nowhere again. I thought this was quite simple, this bit. Like, I got half of the puzzle worked out really, really nice and easily. But this second bit just hasn't, hasn't done what I needed it to at all. There's no cups here that I can grab. I can't grab his cup. There's nothing downstairs. I don't think. Nobody will know because Jude and I are going to completely derail your chat. That's fine. Jude's had a drink. Just be warned. I really, I feel like the towel should have worked as well. Because I was pretty quick. I didn't dilly dally. I just went. When you say you really feel like the towel should have worked, do you know that the towel should have worked? And are just being a bit cryptic. Triforce, Deathly Hallows, nice, nice. Dishonored, nice. Skyrim, nice. Mockingjay, okay. Monkey Island, 100%. Oh, the map from the... Uh, when he has it on him. Grim Fandango, brilliant game. TARDIS, brilliant. We got, uh, me and Athena got engaged to the Doctor Who experience. How stark? Well, I do want the stark sigil. Spider-Man symbol, nice. I like it. Uh, what have you been sipping on? Long Island iced tea. Oh, don't get me started on the Long Island iced teas. Right, I I do feel like this should have worked. So it is soaking, soaking wet. I held the towel under the fog. The towel was soaked through with water. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Long Island iced tea for me was Lavecon. And those are those are dangerous things. Especially when Laz is making them. Right. The towel was soaked through with water. Okay. Still soaked through. In the walkthrough, if you're on PC, you'll need to run as fast as you can from the basement to the plaster. Click out of any dialogue on your way. Okay, cool. So it is just being speedy. So you can't, like, make it go any faster on this one? But what if you're on the PlayStation version? Because you can't run. Like, you, George, take he goes at his own pace. Right, let's see. Is it? 
The towel was soaked through with water. Okay, it's still soaked through. Let's do it again. And then we'll get and go. The towel was already as wet as it was going to get. Okay, let's go. The only version mentioned where the problem does not exist is a Game Boy one. What do you mean, problem? Is it that sometimes it just doesn't work? Come on, let's go. Right, come on. Quick, see, this is slow. This is very, very slow. Yeah, I didn't even know the Game Boy version existed, to be honest. So slow, George. Get on with it. I don't feel like I could have been much faster, to be honest. Or I'm going to concentrate on getting this done. Come on, let's go. Talk dirty last minute. <laughs> Wetter than an otter's pocket. Right, let's go. Come on. Come on. So, you know, the Game Boy doesn't version the stuff of the dry now. Maybe it was a problem in the time. Yeah, it could be. Or it could be that everybody complained about it. And they were like, oh, okay. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll just skip that bit for now then. <clears throat> right, come on, let's go, George, let's go. Oof. Where's my cursor? Come on, let's go. Right, do or die time. All or nothing. Death or glory time. Come on, come on. Oh no, come on. No. I sm oh! Oh, thank God. The trickle of water was quickly absorbed oh. by the plaster. Thank God. Sorry, my mic's playing silly burgers again. I will try and get it fixed for the next stream. Okay, thank goodness. We finally got I there. I the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Excellent news. So we're going to use that. Oh, we've still got it in our hands. Get that in there. The hardened plaster cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. There was a soft thud, then silence. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's ruddy mysterious. Wow. That looked that looked really nice. For a PlayStation 1 game, that was beautiful. Very brave as well, our George, isn't he? Still think Pig would have been quicker. Absolutely. Okay. Again, we've actually managed to get somewhere, which is odd for us. But good for the stream, I guess. Huh? 
So, where did you stay last night? At McDevitt. That was a hard I cut, wasn't it? With Doyle and a couple of the guys. That explains why you look so ill today. Did you get any sleep at all? Not much. I had to share the room with another guy. Did he snore? Hardly. He was dead. Then Leary woke me in the middle of the night to help bail out the cellar. The cellar was flooded? Yeah. Some idiot had left the faucet running. And you say Pigram has disappeared? Without a trace. But my visit wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> we got a gem. And we found Pigram like the gem? underground thingy. The Templar's gem. Whoever Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? He's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. I've been reading about Pigram in this magazine. Hmm, bit of exposition. The media got its claws on him. Yeah, if I was his agent, I'd get him to lose the pipe. That dig must have been pretty important to him. Look at those he visuals. He was his chair at Durham University to go to Ireland. And now he's disappeared. That was actually genuinely quite nice for Beers one. See what you can find out about Professor Pegram. I'll speak to the university. What are your plans? I want to find out who, what, or where Montfasson was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. Hanged man. That's a bit weird. Let's write down some notes. Did they ever get it on? I can't remember. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Okay. Uh. That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marn. That's the tripod in the Croon Museum. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror. We haven't got that one. The reflection has three hideous faces. I'm really glad the high fidelity picture here makes it so that we can see everything. It is actually a little bit easier to see on my... OBS here because everything's a bit smaller. It's weirdly easier to see there. The night scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. There's a guy working on a loom. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is a gem supported by a tripod. So we mean, meant to use the gem on the tripod, maybe. What do you know about Professor Pegram? I've seen his television program, Pegram's Past. He's written a book, The Crusader Families of Ireland. Okay, that's it. I'll show the gem, see if there's anything there. Do you want to look after the gem? No, Georges. I'd be too tempted to sell it. Yeah, that's fair. It's probably worth a few bob. Look, Nico. A handful of plaster. Yeah. Why is it that men never really grow up? What's your problem, sister? Your pockets stuffed with useless junk like little boys. You never know when useless junk might come in handy. That's especially true in these games, isn't it? You never know when a little junk might come in handy. here all day, much as I'd like to. Okay. Don't forget to look for Lobino at the Kron Museum. And why don't you see if Rosso has heard anything? Okay. Anything else I can do for you while I'm out? Shopping, a trip to the laundromat? Just take care of yourself. Okay, cool. <laughs> or giggity. <laughs> right. Where you go, George? Away you go. 
Oh, a good bank holiday weekend. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, we've actually accomplished some things, which has shocked me as much as it shocked you. Um, love the Templar Mythos. Oh, 100%. 100% I I yes Da Vinci Code and Broken Sword absolutely um I always like mentally put them together uh so saying that Tom Hanks would probably be a great Stobart but maybe in his younger years um it is half midnight we have made some good progress I think this is a good a good spot to leave it for the night um because we're just crossing from one thing into another thing we've got back from Ireland um, so we've talked to a load of people, we managed to steal some wire off a drunk poacher, uh, we climbed a rickety hay bale, we managed to get past that damn goat, uh, we fixed a lot of stuff in the pub, and also we've got the gem, very importantly, and we know a little bit more about what we're doing, so it's been a good night, I think, and it's been nearly three hours, so I think that's about time for us tonight. So, huge thanks to everybody for being here. Um, the the chats, the follows, the lurks, the, the everything, it's all hugely appreciated. Um, I'm a really old school nerd, uh, for those of you who haven't been here before. So, um, we will be continuing to, uh, to take a look at some really amazing 90s PS1 games. Next week, we might do some Tomb Raider 2. Or we might carry on with Broken Sword. I'm going to see how I feel on the day. Um, but Sundays from 9.30 BST, just here, uh, we'll, be, we'll be streaming some retro goodness. If you're more into contemporary stuff, um, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, all of that, uh, we're currently um, recording some footage to do an early access review for Starship Troopers Extermination, uh, thanks to the developers there. I'm also in the middle for a TTRPG fans of a review of the Rivers of London tabletop RPG. So that's coming. Um, world Turtles, where you have to build a world kind of strategy, light, quite lightweight strategy simulator that's just come out. We're going to be reviewing that too for an early access review. Um, so 100% be excellent to each other and party on dudes. Um, hey. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm going to mostly go get some sleep, look after the kids in the morning, but huge thanks for being here. Thank you for nerding out with me about movies and about Terry Pratchett and Discworld and old PlayStation 1 games. Um, it's what I absolutely live for. Um, and yeah, hopefully I shall see you real soon. Um, Bandits, that is going to be it from me for tonight, but as we always say, Whatever you do, do it slowly and enjoy it. We'll see you soon. You look after yourselves.